Hi, this is Jason Snell. I'm the Editorial Director of Macworld. And today's Macworld video is about a Mac gem. That's a product that's relatively inexpensive. You may not have heard of it, but once you hear about it, I think you're going to really like it. Uh, today I'm going to talk about LaunchBar. Uh, LaunchBar is a utility that lets you access things on your Mac by typing. And that sounds pretty simple, but what you can access and how easy it is to type these things in order to find them and launch them, and it, well, I'll show it to you. But the, the short version is, if you're somebody who has RSI issues, you know, you, you, you want to reduce how much time you use the mouse, or even if you're just somebody who wants to save time, uh, LaunchBar will save you huge amounts of time. So much so that if I use a Mac that doesn't have LaunchBar on it, I feel naked. I just, I have to have LaunchBar. So anyway, let me show you LaunchBar from Objective Development. So here are the basics of Launch Bar. Launch Bar is a little bar that generally lives right below your menu bar, and you activate it with a keyboard command. By default, it's command space. When you hit that key, the Launch Bar appears, and then you start typing things. Type in the first few letters of your favorite programs, and they should appear. They'll probably be the top selection, in which case you just hit return. If it's not the top selection, you can use the arrow keys to pick which one you want, hit return, Launch bar learns, so the next time you try to search for that, it'll be the first selection. And over time, Launch bar learns what you're doing. You don't have to type very many letters. It knows what programs you're looking for, and it finds them. Here's an example. Hit Command Space. Launch bar appears. I type WOR for Microsoft Word. Hit Return. It'll launch Microsoft Word. I type Apple Fin for a file I know is called Apple Financials. It appears, I hit return, it'll open that document in Excel. If I type the first name of a person in my address book, that person's contact information appears, and I can move in there, use the arrow keys to pick a phone number or an address or an email address. If I hit return at the email address, it'll send an email. Um, so basically, LaunchBar is giving you access to almost everything that's on your Mac in some form just by typing. LaunchBar knows all your browser bookmarks and history files, so it's easy to jump to your favorite websites just using your keyboard. You type in a couple of letters of the name of the website, hit return, it opens it in a new browser window. You can also hit the period button followed by a domain name. It'll automatically expand it out and open it in your browser. I save time by using LaunchBar to do all of my internet searches. If I type in the Wikipedia shortcut and enter in a word, it'll automatically open that page in my browser. Same for the Internet Movie Database. I type IMDb, hit the space bar, type the name of a movie or an actor, it'll automatically take me to that page on the Internet Movie Database. You can do this for Google. You can even do this for spotlight searches on your own desktop. I don't drag and drop anymore because of Launch Bar. Uh, I want to open this image in Photoshop. I click it. I open Launch Bar and hit Command G to grab the image. And then I type a shortcut for Photoshop, Faux CS. And it hit return, it opens in Photoshop CS3. That's my shortcut. I can also, with the new version of Launch Bar, just hold down the space bar when I am opening Launch Bar. It automatically knows I want to open that in something. I type a Photoshop CS shortcut, hit return, and the file opens in Photoshop. So all I have to do is select type a few keys, and it opens it in the right app. You can learn more about LaunchBar at its website at obdev.at. LaunchBar costs $39 for business use, $30 for a family five-pack, or $20 for a single personal license. So I think to know LaunchBar is to love LaunchBar, but I would be remiss if I didn't mention two other utilities that do similar things to LaunchBar. There's Quicksilver and Butler, and you can check those out as well. They're all excellent programs for my money, I like LaunchBar. I can't imagine using a Mac without it, whether it's launching programs or looking up contacts in my address book or doing web searches either via Google or Internet Movie Database or Wikipedia. You know, the list goes on. Uh, I can't imagine life without LaunchBar. I think once you try it, you will uh, find that you save a lot of time, and especially if you have problems with hand, arm, wrist injuries and need to reduce your mousing. Uh, you will not mouse nearly as much as you currently do if you use a product like LaunchBar. So I suggest you give Objective Development's LaunchBar a try. They're at obdev.at. And thanks for listening. I'm Jason Snell, and this has been the Macworld Video. We'll see you next time.